Hey y'all, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience as a D1 track and field athlete, my things I regret, things I didn't, just my experiences, and advice I give to somebody like in high school coming to college. So let's get it. So I'll start off in high school. So I ran 100 and I did the long jump. My PRs were like 10.53, and then in the long jump, it was 22.10, if I believe, 22 feet. 10 inches, yeah, around there, give or take an inch or two. All right, so I was getting recruited by a lot of teams, but the main team that stuck out to me was the University of Arkansas, and that's why I ended up committing. Like, I had a lot of mid-major offers, but that was the only Power 5 school that I wanted to go to, I mean, that offered me, and I was like, University of Arkansas? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I want to go there. Not knowing what I know now, like, if I, if I was to do it all over again, would I go there again? Not starting out, not as no freshman. And I'm gonna explain that to y'all now. So I spent two years at University of Arkansas and then I ended up transferring and going to a different, uh, like a smaller D1 school, Northwestern State University, and ended up graduating there. And I have one more year of eligibility, might not take it, we'll see, that's a whole nother story. Went to Arkansas for two years, and I gotta say, like, I had a lot of injuries. Like, I pulled my hamstring my senior year of high school, and ever since then, for like the next three years, it just wasn't feeling right. So, the injuries was one thing, but there's another thing that really kind of stifled my growth, and I'll tell you about that now. So, I'll say, in them two years of me being at the University of Arkansas, I'll say I probably only competed six times, maybe seven times. Like, let me let me explain. So, there's what they have. Like at big schools, they gonna have what you call a travel squad. It's a, it's gonna be about thirty, thirty two guys. They gonna take them thirty two, and if the team is bigger than that, the rest of them people don't go. And and I was one of them people who just wasn't as good as the other guys. And so they didn't take me. So the only meets I really got to go to were the home meets. So they had about one to two home meets every indoor and one, maybe two outdoors. So that whole time, I only went to home meets. Never did I once go to a travel meet. So like I said earlier, if I had to do it all over again, I would have not went to University of Arkansas. And that's mainly because I feel that if you're not one of the top guys in that conference, they really not going to be, be able to develop you or give you the time you need to develop as an athlete. And that's just my opinion. Some people might not agree. But in my experience, I would have went to a smaller school that had a good coach, transferred out of there, and went to a big school after I got better. I wouldn't go to no Power 5 if I wasn't, like, one of the best guys out of college. I mean, out of high school. If you're not already, like, one of them top guys, I say that, like, them power fives really can't help you. And I say that because I feel like a lot of those schools can develop guys who are already good, just make minor tweaks just to get them to where they wanna be. But if you got a guy like me, like say with long jump, I needed a lot of work on long jump. And coaches like that, they really not gonna spend the time that you need to be able to, be able to get better and they're not gonna, they gonna focus on the guys that are already good. And I'll say this definitely. Yeah, my cat got some zoomies, not gonna lie. I don't know what he's doing right now. But anyways, I'll say this. When I was at Arkansas, the head coach, he didn't care. I don't care what anybody say. He did not care about me. Like, I'll say this. I feel like, I feel like a lot of head coaches are like that. If you're not already competing well and doing what you need to do as far as scoring for the conference. I'll say this, a lot of head coaches at like Power Fives, if you're not one of the top guys already doing good, already competing well and scoring for the conference, they're not gonna care about you. And that was the case for me, like, I was barely going to any meets, and when I did go to meets, I really just wasn't that good just because injuries really didn't know what I was doing. 
So I had a head coach in Arkansas, and he was just like, he really didn't talk to me much at all. I'll say that. Coaches are going to have their favorites. And if you're not good, and if they don't like you, it's going to be hard for you to get better. And it's going to be hard for you to compete at a place like that. The reason why I actually transferred, it wasn't because I wanted to specifically. I was going to stay a little longer to see if I can get better. But this is the real reason I transferred. It's because of the coaches. Head coach called me. Hey, we need to talk. I'm like, all right, what we need to talk about? Head in my office. I'm like, okay. So I went to their office. Jump coach there. Talked to him first. Then I talked to the head coach. And basically what they told me was, we think you'd be better somewhere else. We think you should transfer and go to a small school. So that was their way of getting rid of me, basically. Like, there's a rule, an SEC rule or an NCAA rule, I can't remember. There's a rule that you can't kick somebody off for bad bad performance. But what they did was break my spirit. Imagine somebody telling you that, oh, yeah, we think you should leave just because you're not good. Would you want to stay there? No. So what they basically do, and I feel like it's not just them, it's probably a lot of power fives like that, they'll tell you that, eh, I think it'd be a good idea for you to go somewhere else, transfer. It, it'd be better for you. So basically insinuating that you should leave, but not actually telling you that, so you're going to leave on your own. So I had that meeting, and within a day or two, I was in that portal. I was like, man, I'm not going to be in somewhere where I'm not wanted. So I thought, let me find somewhere where I'm wanted, and I can get some money. So I went in the portal around June, and I say that, like, if you're not one of the best guys in the nation in the transfer portal, you're really not going to get no money. Like, all the money going to be gone for real. Like, at the end of the year, they've already gave out money to, like, high schools and guys who've already transferred earlier in the year. So I was kind of in a predicament. Like, I was getting offers, but not what I wanted. So I ended up committing to Northwestern State University. They was able to give me a full ride. So I thought this would be a good place for me. So as soon as I went there, I know it's a huge difference as far as like me being able to just compete. Like I went there, one of the better guys in the jumps, like long jump, triple jump, and I was able to go to every meet. And I was just like, it, it kind of like shocked me because it's like, dang, I'm going to every meet now. This is completely different. When I was at Arkansas, I went to barely any meets, just the home meets. Now I'm traveling, and I'm like, wow, this is fun. Really just being able to compete more really helped me out. Like, since I was one of the better guys as far as jumpers on the team, they cared about me more. And I say, like, you might not think it's a big deal, but if your coach don't care about you, your head coach don't care about you, you just another guy. It's going to be hard for you to get better. I don't really care who the coach is. I don't care if the coach is the best coach in the world. If you're not one of his favorites, it's going to be hard. I'm telling y'all, like, majority of them are going to have favorites. Whether they tell you or not, you can usually tell. A lot of coaches have their favorites, and you want to be one of them favorites. Like, if, you, if your coach favors you, he's going to do everything in his power to make you better. But if you're not, sorry to tell y'all, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. So in my opinion, if I had to do it all over again, I, I would have went to a smaller school, like the second school I went, got better, and then transferred. I would have stayed at the small school for maybe one or two years, got better, and then went to a power five, then went to a bigger school. But at the level I was, I was just okay. Like, I was, they saw potential in me to be power five potential, but I wasn't there yet. So I'll say this. If you think that you already at that level, you already good, like you come into a power five and you're going to be like one of them guys, then yeah, go for it. Like you go to a power five and you already good. A lot of times they can make you better. But if you got, if you need a lot of work and if you need a lot of experience and training that you didn't have, you need to go somewhere smaller or at least somewhere where you can develop. And what I mean by that is going somewhere that has a coach that believes in you and can bring that potential out of you. The place where I went was not the case. I'm not saying Arkansas is a bad place by any means, because great place, great facility, everything. 
just wasn't a place I should have been at that given time, if that makes sense. So I hope that helps. Um, if y'all have any questions about my experiences or just questions in general, just let me know and peace out.